Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. I'm Rachel Sander and this video is about how to read Tornado Watches like a pro. Today's video is going to break down how you can dissect how the SPC feels about how big the threat is inside of a watch area. This video will help answer how serious a tornado watch this actually is as well as what the threats really are. But first, Let's get the fine print out of the way. First off, a tornado watch is issued by the Storm Prediction Center in Norman, Oklahoma, when conditions are favorable for tornado development in the watch area. These literally mean you should watch weather info for the potential of a tornado warning being issued later. But a tornado watch doesn't mean you will soon see a tornado. In fact, most towns put under tornado watches will not soon see tornado weather. But you should always take the issuance of a watch seriously. This video is meant to help you read watches like a pro, not to ignore watches when they're issued. Can we agree on that? Yes? Okay then, let's find out how to read a tornado watch like a pro. So our first stop today is the Storm Prediction Center website, the home page. Here you can scroll down, you can see this is a general lay of the land of what we're working with. But let's first, let's go up here. How do you find watches? Well, it's simple. This little area right here, watches. You click it. Congrats, the video's over. You know how to read watches like a pro. I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Today there are no watches in effect, so we're going to have to pretend there are watches in effect here. First things first, uh, there would be watches in boxes. Their boxes would be right here. You could click on it and go straight to the watch. Also, they would be listed down here below. So in lieu of that, let's pretend like we just clicked the watch and we're going into it right now. So the first watch we take a look at here is Tornado Watch 60. So let's take a good broad view of this whole page. First off, it gives you the number. Oops, I'm hovering over stuff. Gives you the number, Tornado Watch 60. This map shows you the counties that are in the watch area. Now, keep in mind, if you want to know, like if your county's in the watch area, you need to be able to find it on a map. If you can't find it on a map, I recommend Google Maps. This isn't a geography lesson. You can figure it out from there. So from there, what do we do? Well, we scroll down, you can see uh, first off, there's this table, hazard, likelihood, tornadoes, high, EF2 tornadoes, moderate, severe wind, high. Uh, you just go down the list. I don't need to read them. You can read. But uh, you can see that that table is going to come in handy here in just a second. We're going to take a look at that. But let's go down to the text. There's text down here. Let's take a look at it. Urgent, immediate broadcast requested, tornado watch number 60. Uh, none of this really matters uh, for your personal preferences for knowing how to read a tornado watch, except this right here, 3.20 p.m. Central Daylight Time. That's when the watch was issued, which will come in handy in a second. Then it uh, kind of repeats itself from the map up here. It gives you a broad overview of the uh, watch area, southern eastern Arkansas, northern Louisiana. Uh, just so you know, again, know where your map, know where your county is on a map, know if it's in the watch immediately. You can just ignore that at that point. Then the tornado watch is effective this Saturday afternoon and evening from 3.20 p.m. when it was issued until 11 p.m. Central Daylight Time. This means that your watch is in effect until 11 p.m. The Storm Prediction Center anticipates that the severe weather risk is going to continue in this area until 11 p.m. Central Daylight Time tonight. So this watch is in effect for just a little over seven hours. Watches typically are six to eight hours of six to eight hour affairs and so this is no different and so you know you need to be vigilant you need to be ready over this time period and then below that uh, the primary threats include this is an important section you want to really get down to the meat and potatoes of is this watch a watch that i need to really be worried about versus a watch i just need to be worried about primary threats include a few tornadoes and a couple of intense tornadoes likely that's strong wording it's not the strongest you could get but that's pretty strong. That means we're there, uh, the Storm Prediction Center is expecting a few tornadoes to happen, and a couple of those could be especially strong. So that means it, alarm bells should be going off in your head. I need to really make sure I've got weather info in front of me because this watch is very important. Then you have widespread large hail with scattered very large hail events to three inches in diameter likely. Well, what does that mean? Three inches diameter hell. That's huge. That's big hell. So whenever you see uh, that, you, you can tell like what they're thinking in terms of hell. Like what's the maximum size? Doesn't mean every storm's going to have three inch hell, but that means that three inch hell is likely at some point in the swatch area. So if there's a storm moving toward you that's severe worn with big hell, 
know it could get really big. Then scattered damaging winds likely with isolated significant gusts to 70 mi 75 miles per hour possible. Again, that's a pretty significant uh, wind. Uh, threat and you need to be paying attention to that for sure and then you have the summary the summary is where the, they'll give a very brief forecast discussion sometimes it's only like two sentences literally two sentences and sometimes they do something like this where scattered supercell development is expected this afternoon from northeastern texas across northwestern louisiana into southern and eastern arkansas the storms will persist through late evening and expand in coverage. That means there's going to be more of them as you go on with the potential to produce very large hail damaging winds and several tornadoes. Uh, you, you see that again, a few tornadoes likely up, or a few tornadoes up above, several tornadoes down here. Start piecing it together. They're expecting tornadoes. They're not expecting one or two. They're expecting more than that. They're expecting several different uh, storms to actually go on to produce. Then a couple of strong tornadoes will be possible, mainly later this evening across southeast Arkansas. So immediately, they've given you a lot of information, a couple of strong tornadoes possible, mainly this evening over southeast Arkansas. So, you know, if you don't live in southeast Arkansas, you're not in that greatest risk area. They've just outlined it. They've just told you exactly where they're expecting the strongest tornadoes to happen. But that, does that mean if you're in north Ark or the northwest part of this watch area where you're not in southeast Arkansas that you should let your guard down? No, that's not what that means. It simply means that that's where they're pinpointing as the greatest risk area. Sometimes they'll do that in these summaries. So then a tornado watch area is approximately along, and so you don't need to worry about this, the map. It's up here. You're good to go. So then finally it has, remember, a tornado watch means conditions are favorable for tornadoes and severe thunderstorms in and close to the watch area. That is important. Take that seriously. Take that seriously. Like, pay attention. And then finally, the area that I want to really uh, point to and show you a couple of cool things that will help you kind of get a feel for how the day might go is that this aviation section, you have tornadoes and a few severe thunderstorms with hail and surface and a loft to three inches. Again, you've already seen that three inch number above. They've already given you that along with the extreme turbulence and surface wind gusts to 65 knots. Also, they've given you that, but you know now, and a few cumulative nimbi with maximum tops to 550, that's 55,000 feet. That's a big deal tall storms practical impacts if you're not a storm observer doesn't really matter but it kind of me i geek out like oh my gosh that's huge that's uh several miles up in the atmosphere and i get i just geek out about that that will uh, that kind of, to me, signals like where our instability is for the day, as one example. And then mean storm motion vector 240, 30. The first three numbers are the direction the storm is coming from, so 240 degrees. I'll pop something up on the screen right now to show you exactly what that looks like. And then 30 is knots. Anytime in this aviation section, the speeds are going to be knots. So the first three are the direction it's coming from. The last two are the speed the storm's going to be going. 30 knots translates to like 35 miles per hour, something like that. So you know that these storms are going to be moving from 240 degrees at 30, 30 knots, 35 miles an hour. So you got that down. So let's go up to the top, going quickly up to the top. And you see now you have probabilities or counties, which just shows you the counties that are in the watch. Then probabilities aviation you can see warnings that were in effect here at the end of this watch uh if th i wouldn't depend on warnings to warn you that there's a tornado warning in your county we you, we've got other materials on how to stay informed about severe weather threats use those and then initial radar shows you what the radar looked like at the beginning of the watch and then related md we're going to get to that in a second but let's go back to probabilities so probabilities you see now instead of that text below the map we now have this table, and this is important. The probabilities can go from, I believe, uh, five, uh, less than 2% uh, all the way up to greater than 95%. So, and, and what we're going to look at a couple of other watches to kind of show you the difference. But here, probability of two or more tornadoes is high, 70%. That's a pretty high threat level for tornadoes. This is what we call a 70-60 watch. If there, and the probability of one or more strong tornadoes is 60%. So that's a pretty good, uh, that's a pretty good sign that they're expecting some tornadoes, some strong in this watch area. And then you can see also probability of 10 or more severe wind events, probability of hell events, that sort of thing. So, and then also probability of six or more combined severe hell or wind events is high, 95%, greater than 95%. Anytime you see greater than 95%, you can kind of start saying, okay, this is probably going to happen. But 
uh, these range again from less than 2% to greater than 95%. And whenever you start seeing stuff uh, start getting into the high category here, that's a high level of confidence that they have in that event happening. So, and then finally, let's go to this and then we're gonna look at two more watches quickly and dissect them and then we're gonna be done. So, related MD, and this is uh, about halfway through a watch, two or three hours into it or four hours, they will issue a MD, which is basically a watch update. Like this is like, okay, here's our current thinking. So let's go to this MD just to take a look. So this mesoscale discussion, they uh, it says concerning Tornado Watch 60, we've been looking at that. It gives you a rough outline of what we're looking at, even uh, sometimes a rough outline of the radar that's very low res, but you know, it's there. Then they'll have summary, the threat of severe thunderstorms persists along the trailing line of storms, a brief tornado as possible, transition is mainly to hell and wind. They're letting you know that this threat now is moving to hell and wind. And then finally, and I'm just realizing this is toward the end of the watch, so they sometimes do that as well toward the end and let you know what could be happening. Uh, down the line as well. Like, are they going to reissue the watch or not? So, and so then you have a discussion. These are very technical. So you need to brush up on your meteorology knowledge. If you want to do that, um, I, I, I tell you, I'm telling you, it's a good, it's a good idea. And if you do that, we have a lot of good material at Titan U that you can use for that. So just a shameless plug there. So let's take a look at a couple more watches. Okay, so this one, you see, I want to point this one out. It says, particularly dangerous situation, PDS, Tornado Watch 50. Anytime you see that particularly dangerous situation tag, that's what the Storm Prediction Center thinks about your area. It's a particularly dangerous situation. You see the difference here in the, in the probabilities? High, 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 high. These are things that you will definitely see. Uh, those are the types of probabilities. Let's just take a look at probabilities really quick. This is a 95-95 tornado watch. That's a PDS. Greater than 95% confidence that there will be two or more tornadoes with one or more strong tornadoes. This watch did verify, so bam, there you go. PDS watches do sometimes fail, but it's rare, and if they do, it's pro it, you can just count yourself as lucky. So let's take a look at, let's compare this to the previous watch just a little bit. First off, this is a particularly dangerous situation. That's in red right there. That's, that's again, it's telling you, they're telling you twice in red, particularly dangerous situation. This is a particularly dangerous situation. Primary threats include numerous tornadoes and several intense tornadoes expected. Excuse me, I'm scrolling all over. That's okay. That's big. That's a big time day you know now suddenly that there are a lot of tornadoes expected. Again, the damaging winds up to 80, hell up to 2.5 inches. And then you can just kind of compare like 240 at 35 was the expected storm motion, cumulative by tops at 50,000. So there you go, bam, there's a big time watch. Uh, that's what they look like whenever they're going big time. So let's take a look at the other end of the spectrum. This is a severe thunderstorm watch, severe thunderstorm watch 70. This one is valid from 11.20 a.m. to 5 p.m. So again, right there about six hours is where that one was issued for. And so what are we looking for? Scattered damaging wind gusts to 70 miles per hour likely, isolated large hail events to 1.5, but this, while this is a severe thunderstorm watch, a tornado or two possible. So there, it, it's not like there's no tornado risk in this watch. They, there could be a tornado or two possible. You see tornadoes low. You have two tornadoes plus tornadoes very low. So let's take a look at the probabilities table really quick. What does that look like? Well, probability of two or more tornadoes is 20% low. Probability of one or more strong tornadoes is 5%, which is also quite low. It says low on here, but on their, uh, you see there's a difference here, very low and low. That's, uh, you know, that's something that I honestly, whatever, like we're just going to let that, we're going to let that slide, the difference in terminology. But you know that this is a low in tornado threat, but it's not zero. Usually if it's uh, zero, you'd see both be 5% or less than 2%. So now you know that there is a tornado risk in the severe thunderstorm watch. Despite it being a blue box, a severe thunderstorm watch, there is indeed a tornado risk, although it is low. So what did we learn today? Well, we learned how to uh, successfully, let's go back to the watch here, to read tornado watches. You can now read tornado watches like a pro. This is super simple to do. Everybody can do it. Literally everybody can do it. Uh, and you can kind of dissect where we're looking at in terms of watches. So.
So if you like this video, subscribe to our channel. We have a ton of educational resources for just about anybody. If you're a storm observer who likes to watch storms in your neighborhood, to being a, just a lay person who's just, you know, someone who's just interested in being more informed of severe weather so you can kind of be more ready. We have it all. We have it all available on our channel. So subscribe, take a look, enjoy our videos. If you have suggestions in terms of like, I want to see this video, you can leave a comment. I read them all and I'm excited to make more videos. Uh, storm season here will be uh, out chasing a lot and yeah, it's going to be fun. I guess. So fun. it's fun for us, probably not as fun for people in the path of the storms, but we'll be out there and uh, providing information to the National Weather Service as best we can. And uh, we'll be trying to document things to make more educational videos. So with that in mind, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.